Gnosticism. And Lord knows I've made this video or addressed this topic myriad of times. Uh, Gnosticism and Docetism go hand in hand. <clears throat> While Marcionism gets called uh, Gnostic, it Gnostic, remember, is the slanderous term. They were not the Marcionites weren't Gnostics; they were Docetists. They didn't have any secret knowledge, uh, but they did have something in common with the Gnostics, which was Docetism. The idea that the evil God created the physical world or an ignorant God created the physical world and that the good God was 100% spiritual. So you get these dippy, hippie, neo-gnostics that claim they can see God in nature and communing with nature. Um, an actual true gnostic would view the physical world as the ugliest most pornographic, sickening, revolting thing. And same thing with the body, same thing with sex, childbirth, uh, anything carnal, any carnal pleasures. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I always find it just irritating when people call themselves Gnostics and have these silly channels and then try to talk about how things like, oh, sex and sex is good and you shouldn't feel ashamed of it. If there's any piece of Gnosticism within, you know, medieval Roman Catholicism, it was the, uh, it was the attitude that sex was bad, which is actually just an anachronistic Protestant view because the Roman Catholics never viewed sexual procreation is bad. It was always a good thing. Um, yeah, the, uh, the Gnostics, sex was the worst sin you could commit. Wor far worse than murder. <clears throat> because it's a carnal act. It's the most carnal act. And it leads to uh, entombing a soul in a physical body. Not only that, but after the child is born, after the soul is entrapped in the baby's body, the mother is attached to this physical thing, this baby. And you're not supposed to, these familiar, and what I mean, I mean that in the way of family ties are horrid. The, you know, you're not supposed to have familiar ties. It's wrong because you're supposed to get past all that, ascend all that, uh, go beyond any physical or worldly attachments. That's the goal of Gnosticism. And it's done through not charity, not good works, because remember you're just perpetuating the physical world. It's through secret knowledge and passwords. So, there you go. Peace to you.